Tonight, Chicago police are looking for suspects in the shooting deaths of two Simeon High School students, Jamari Williams and Kentrell McNeil. The two young men were shot in separate incidents. And tonight, classmates and loved ones paid tribute to the two teenagers. And WGN's Brona Tumulty is live tonight at CPD headquarters with more. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, very tough week indeed for Simeon High School students. Some of them getting together today to remember yet another two lives lost to gun violence. I'm very happy I got a chance to do this because I know Jamari looking down and I was like, dang, y'all really came out for me. Dozens of young people gathering today in Ogden Park with balloons, music and memories of two 15-year-olds gunned down Tuesday just hours apart. Both attended Simeon Career Academy High School. Miracle Jones telling us she had just spoken with her friend Jamari Williams before his life was taken. Yeah, I'm definitely worried about myself being nabbed. Williams was with a group of other students at the Chatham Market Shopping Centre when police say someone in a black vehicle drove up and opened fire. I'm a former coach up here at Ogden Park. Yes, we, we coached him. Daryl Smith and Keith Harris. He was a, a great football player, but the fastest kid on our team. Both coached Williams in football. It hits hard when you see teenagers don't even get to strive in life and, and live their life to the fullest. And both have also lost children of their own to gun violence. My daughter was murdered in 2019 at Kara Boston from Simeon. Telling us Williams joins an ever growing list of lives snuffed out by gunshots. Over the last year and a half or two years, we've lost 15, at least 15 former players, my son included. But if losing one student wasn't bad enough, Simeon High lost two inside 24 hours. The other um, student was killed on um, Lake Park in Hyde Park. A short time after Williams was struck, 15-year-old Kentrell McNeil and an unnamed 14-year-old were sitting in a car near 52nd and South Lake Park Avenue when they were shot. The 14-year-old at last check was in critical condition while McNeil was pronounced dead this morning. I don't remember going through this when I was their age. And these kids are going through this on a monthly basis, sometimes on a weekly basis, and this is, this is traumatic. Now we're told more than 300 juveniles have been shot across Chicago so far this year. We checked in with police this evening and they tell us that nobody is in custody in either of yesterday's incidents. We're live at CPT headquarters, Brona Tumulty, WGN News.